hi and welcome back to my channel welcome to today's tutorial in this video we are going to crochet a beautiful spiral granny square bag i already did a tutorial on how to make this spiral granny square i've left the link in the description box below so if you have not yet watched that tutorial then you need to pause this video and go and watch how to make this spiral granny square and you're going to make two of these so this is the second part so you're going to make two and the next thing you're going to work is the side of the back which we are going to do in this tutorial so before you work the side of the back what you're going to do is you're going to put a stitch marker on the one end and on the next end this part is going to serve as the opening of your back so you're going to count your stitches from this first stitch marker you're going to count this side the second side this second side and this third side to this second stitch marker the number of stitches you have is the number of rounds you're going to work for your side so i counted the, these stitches and my stitches are 125 so i'm going to work 125 rounds i'm going to be using a size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook it is the same uh, hook size that i use in making the granny squares You start with a slip knot and you're going to chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and you're going to skip skip this last this last chain and from the second chain you're going to work single crochet stitches on the back loop of your chain so you work one single crochet and one single crochet in each stitch using the back loop of your chain You work in one single crochet and in your last chain using your back loop you work one single crochet so you're going to have 10 stitches in total so this is your round one to begin your round two you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're con you continue working one single crochet in each stitch One single crochet you work one single crochet one single crochet and one single crochet so you ended your round two to begin your round three you're going to chain one and you're going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch and you're going to keep repeating this pattern until you work the number of rows that are that are going to fit for the number of stitches you have so i've worked a total of 125 rounds of single crochet and this is how it's looking like this is how your work is going to look like when you're done the next thing you're going to do is to attach this your sides to your grannies so you're going to take your yarn needle and you're going to put a yarn on your yarn needle the next thing you're going to do when you look on your on this your side you're going to see so here you're going to have one stitch here is a stitch 
this this part is a stitch this is a stitch this is a stitch this is a stitch 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 so that's how you're going to be joining it so you're going to come to where you have this your first stitch marker and you're going to take it out and you're going to start joining your sides this side to this side and we're going to join I'll give it one more and next you're going to continue joining And as I'm going to join all the three sides till you get to this other stitch marker, you're going to keep joining. So I've joined this side to the end here and this is how your work is going to look like. The next thing you're going to do is to take the other side and you're going to join it the same way. So this is the rough side facing all and this is the right side and you're going to come and you're going to continue joining as well. You join the same way the three sides so you're going to join you're going to join the second side And next you're going to continue joining the same way.
When you're done joining the side, both sides to the side, you're going to turn your back. Now the next thing you're going to do is to walk this corner so you're going to take your yarn and you're going to reattach it anywhere Work a single crochet you work a chain one and you're going to work a single crochet in the next stitch You work a single crochet in the next stitch and you're going to continue working one single crochet in each stitch When you get to this part where you have this double crochet stitches, you're going to work two single crochet on it. You work one single crochet, one single crochet, and two single crochet. And you continue working single crochet in each stitch. So you're going to work one, two, three rounds of single crochet. When you're on the third round, you're going to, and you're at the end. You're going to cut your yarn then you're going to pull your working yarn up and you use your yarn needed to close And next you're going to go go ahead and yarn in your tail next what you're going to do is you're going to put a stitch marker on where you want your back handle to be so here I've counted 16 stitches from this side 16 stitches I put a stitch marker 16 stitches I put a stitch marker for where I want my back back uh, handle to be and you do the same for the other side so what you're going to do is you're going to take your yarn and you're going to come to this corner and you're going to reattach your yarn and you're going to chain you chain one and you're going to work single crochet stitches Yeah, 
working single crochet stitches to where you have your stitch marker. Now you're going to you remove your stitch marker and you work a single crochet in that stitch and next you're going to work chains for the length of the back strap you're going to one so you're going to work chains long enough for the back for the length of the back strap you want So I work a total of 90 chains. It's okay. So when you work the number of chains you want, you're going to come to the next stitch marker and you take it out. Then you work a single crochet stitch and you continue working single crochet stitches round when you get to the next stitch marker you're going to repeat the same pattern when you get to the end you're going to continue working single crochet to where you have this the chains for your back strap when you get there you're going to turn the chains you're going to turn the chains and you're going to continue working single crochet stitches on the back loop of your chain. You work a single crochet in the next loop. work single crochet next you work a single crochet single crochets next single crochet so when you work and you reach at this end you're going to see it like this is going to look like this so what you're going to do next you're going to come to your next stitch here and you're going to work you work a single crochet there and you continue working your single crochet stitches So you're going to work two rounds of single crochet for your back strap and this is how your work is going to look like so beautiful and really easy to make So this is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.